What are you doing, Bobby? Uh, just cutting a few wires. Okay. Bus build episode six. Bye. Six. So, this week we just have a short video because we did something that we've been meaning to share mainly because when we wanted to do we could not find any information anywhere on the web no video there's a few blog posts about it or like people asking questions online but there was no direct answer so it took us a while to do this you know and in the, in the reality of it it didn't take that long to actually do it but it took a while of just to muster Getting up confident. the courage to yes, do it. Yes, exactly. And now that we've done it, it's like, why did that take so long? Right? I don't but, know. It was quite the process to get there. Anyway, so what did we do? We removed the distribution panel yes. from our box. What sounds now like it? Oh, wait a second, no go. No, it's true though. When you say it that way, <laughs> yeah. people would think like, you know. What is that? So, in the bus, because it was a shuttle bus, right? There was the air conditioning, the heater, the um, wheelchair ramp, all the lights in the back of the bus, and all these alarms above every single door in the bus. All of that was going into a distribution panel that was connected to the secondary battery underneath the side door where the passenger seat would be sitting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, and we were just the whole time, we cut so many wires, right? We, we took out all the electricity, there's no wheelchair ramp, they took it out for us. We took out the air conditioning, all of these things, and we just had so many cables. So we traced them all back to the panel, and then we were like, wait a second, like, we might not need this panel. So neither of us are electricians <laughs> or anyone who's into electronics. All I, I could recognize in the panel, there was some big heavy duty solenoids, relays, and just a bunch of spaghetti. So <laughs> it was kind of just intimidating at first, like we said, but. It was. So over weeks, we've been tracing down those wires. And now that we had them all at the front, just kind of like waiting to get removed, we actually went and talked to a mechanic first though. Well, That's not it. intentionally. Not intentionally, we... We bought a seat. That passenger seat. Passenger seat of someone who happened to be a hobby mechanic. Exactly. And then after chatting with him, he seemed like he was pretty good at what he was doing. Oh, and for we sure. just thought like, hey, what do you think of this? Because intuitively, I think we were both kind of thinking like, okay, what other vehicle has a secondary distribution panel? Like. Even just the secondary battery. And the secondary right? battery, like, so. What's that? Why is it there? Why do we need it? We don't have any. Wiring diagram. We don't have any wiring diagram or anything like that. So, what the mechanic suggested, he was like, if you don't have a diagram, go one by one. Unplug, pull, or whatever one wire, start the best, see if it's a work, see if it did anything and go one by one and really try to see exactly where they're all going because some of the wires were actually done not connected to the panel. Some wires were already cut before we even bought oh, the bus. Out of that. Like so many. Yeah, so just like majority. Like literally. And the one thing that was just <laughs> keeping us kind of afraid was when we were disconnecting other wires, we actually cut our brake lights wire and that's kind of what really pushed the brake on the whole That panel. was at the very beginning it like, oh, snap. now. It's just like... Looks like mistakes can be made. There's important wires here. Uh -huh. But I'm pretty proud because we made it. So what we did is, first we had to take off like the doghouse, so called doghouse in the mm -hmm. front, so we could see actually where exactly the wires were going. And we had this panel kind of on a panel but where you could push the buttons for the back air conditioning to turn it on for the actual bus driver and for the <clears throat> for the wheelchair lift all these buttons so we took that out and saw okay those were all the wires coming from the panel so we just kind of unplugged all of those first and then we traced the the two wires basically those were thick ones that were not going there and those were going to the secondary battery and one to the normal bus battery. Okay, so yeah, and then once we realized that, I mean, essentially to complete the circuit, there was a heavy gauge wire that ran up underneath 
under the hood and then obviously onto our main battery. So before we were messing around with the heavy gauge wires, we had to disconnect our battery, which for anyone who doesn't know, you always disconnect the negative lead first, the black lead. Right? Double check that, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. So disconnect the battery, and then that was safe to uh, you know, negative then positive. Yeah, so we disconnected everything to be safe and really did one wire after a time and realized there were so many wires that really were just there for no reason because they were cut on both ends, some of them actually. It took us probably a few hours to go through this whole process because we just had to, it was kind of hard. We had to take a few parts of the bus off and screw it to really see exactly where they're going, take them all of this plastic tube thing. Yeah. Anyways, we did all of that, right? We spent lots of hours underneath the bus trying to disconnect things from the secondary battery. Yeah, that wasn't very fun. No. I thought our days under the bus were over, but <laughs> there it was. Yeah, and the battery was full of... So it was grimy. Very grimy. It had like a quarter inch of grime. You could barely see anything, yeah. but... We managed to do that and you will manage to if you want to get rid of it if there's nothing important connected to it like it was for our bus and everything is working we tried out we drove the bus around we did not disconnect or remove anything that we didn't need but like this it's way cleaner we have the whole front area now to open exactly open to build in and now it's also just like why would have we left it you know of course if you don't need something you should take it out I mean it doesn't hurt you. If it's not broke, don't fix it. But at the same time, like it's just carrying around dead thing. weight. And if, for a lot of them, every shuttle bus is different. So yes. if yours isn't in the way and it's not a problem, you know, you don't have to mess with it. Basically, all we have now is a secondary battery we're not using. We're not going to remove it because maybe one day. Maybe we'll need it. A bon dia. <laughs> also, I like our. We're working on a floor plan, but it's not done yet, so who knows? Maybe we'll need it, actually. So we have that battery, but yes, we hope that this is helpful for anyone else who might have a similar shuttle bus who wants to get rid of their distribution panel because it is in the way of their bolt. Yeah, like it seems intimidating, but at the end of the day, I'd say it's not even worth paying someone to do it because they'll just do the yeah. same thing as you. That's all from us today. We just wanted to do a little how-to video on this because like we said, we couldn't find anything. We hope this is somehow informative for you or gives you courage to take out your panel so you have more space and more room. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, like and subscribe. If you have any concerns or any tips, tricks, leave a comment down below. See you next week. See ya.